the left, and this will cycle through all of your open apps. And then one quick swipe to the right. It's using this on a Galaxy Nexus. We've created this smooth and beautiful interface. This is all Ubuntu and uh, allowing you to run native apps, HTML5 apps, uh, and, and so on. So that's, uh, that's Ubuntu Phone. Anybody have any, uh, any questions? So we're going to release uh, an image uh, pretty soon. This is the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, so that's the, the first image that we'll release for developers. Right, so right now, um, dual core, 1.3, 512 megs of RAM. So if it runs Android, uh, we use that as pretty much like the BSP. So if the phone can run Android, you can use those drivers. How do you plan on distributing the software to phones that can't run Android? Sorry? How do you plan on distributing the software to phones that can't run Android? Well, we'll have to make specific images for those phones. And probably with the help of the community, we can do that as well. Of course. Is it going to be something that you think will be easy to install? Or yes. Are you thinking it'll be through a custom recovery, that kind of thing, flashing a ROM? It's just like that. Just like that, yeah. Okay, that's what I figured. Pretty much a zip file. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's that's good. Fine. Do you guys have any plans on working with some kind of manufacturer to work your own phone, your own device? Or? Not our own device, but we are working with manufacturers to ship this on their devices. Okay, great. So, so you're looking to, are you, are you just looking yeah. to say, hey, take our operating system, put it on? Yes. Whatever hardware you like, you ship it out. Exactly. Okay, I great. Yeah. HEC will be one of these. I hope. We'll see. So, what are the? Are there any specific main benefits to using Ubuntu over Android that you would like to? Just our. Uh, sorry. Just, just our. Um, the fact that ease of use. Yeah. The the fact that it's one operating system. It's the converged device. It's yeah. Ubuntu running on your desktop, your phone. Yeah the cloud, uh, our developer community, the fact that we have HTML5 and native apps running us side by side. Uh, it's just Can all the conversion. Maybe a little multitasking? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, so here's, um, let me just. So here's uh, the gallery app. Yeah. So if I swipe from the right, Yep. This actually swipes through all of my open apps. Oh, great. That's really neat. So, and okay. then if I swipe this way, quick, it goes back to your home screen. So just really quick from the left, yeah. it's going to go back to that home screen. Right, so if I go to the right, yeah. this swipes through my open apps. And then if I go here, I can either open this or I can keep, keep going. Okay. And it'll bring me back to... That's, that's really neat. Yeah. Okay, so then, um, and you said you can swipe up from the bottom of the phone to bring up some kind of right. menu? Right, exactly. So if you're in an app and you want the toolbar to come up, you just swipe from the bottom and that brings open... Uh, that's where you can go back or anything exactly. like that. Exactly. Okay. Or you could just tap on the screen. Yeah. That's neat. Okay, great. And then the top of the screen are the indicators, which allows you to access anything on your phone. Okay, does it have like... Okay, so so I can reply. Have, oh, that's really. I can cool. reply to wow, messages. that is neat. Let me get a look yeah. at that. That is fantastic. I love how it doesn't have to open up the whole application. Exactly, it's all you can do within it right that notification there. bar. Yep. What kind of uh, keyboard can you can you show me the keyboard? Sure. That yeah. You guys have. Yep. Okay. Does it have swipe or predictive text? Anything like it, that? It will. It will. Yeah. Okay. But right now. Right now. No. Just basic. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. So it's just a basic keyboard. And then you can, moment. you know, dismiss it just by swiping it down. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, that's neat. So um, when you get a notification, how are, the, are you going to have vibration notification? Yeah. Sound? I'll, I'll actually show you a notification. Okay, right great. Quick. Let me text the phone real quick. Okay. So text should be coming in. Yep. Okay, so just a little pop-up right it's, there. It's the just top. like Ubuntu. It's our not our notifications. And if you notice, if I pull down from my messaging, it'll be right there, and I can reply right back to right it without even opening. I don't even have to open up the the messaging the app. messaging app. Is can you open the messaging app from this notification bar though? Yeah. Ah, uh, you click that icon up there. Yeah. Uh, Maybe not. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So there it is. All right. And then what other settings do you have within that notification bar that you can kind of go between? Yeah. So if I just make one tap, 
Yeah. It brings me to the menu. Okay. Which is messages, sound, networks, date and time, battery. Okay. Airplane what what about, is there email notifications, that kind of thing in, within the notification bar? No, that'll, that'll be a separate setting. Okay, okay. So th that won't be up there in the notification bar if you get an email. It'll exactly. just be a separate notification kind of thing. Exactly. Okay, yeah. great. Is there anything else that you feel? No, I think that covers it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a really good overview. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. Great. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's great to meet you. Thanks yeah, nice a lot.